Hey everyone, so in today's video it's just going to be a quick short video taking a look at how many hours my particular TV has actually been in use for. So with the C9, if I just come into the TV settings, what you'll notice is with some of the older ones and I believe also with the C10 as well, you can literally just come into your settings, go into general, go about this TV and then when you scroll down it actually gives you the hours used in this particular menu screen. Now with the C9 for some reason, despite the some of the older ones having it and some of the new ones having it, the C9 isn't actually one of the TVs that actually lists hours used. So it can be quite difficult to actually work out um, how much you're actually making use of a particular TV. So in order to do this, what I've done is um, I had a old service remote, as you can see from the kind of shape and look of this particular uh, remote. It's, it's quite an old one. So basically this one I actually purchased back when I first bought my LG Plasma TV. So this would have been around in 2009, 2010, something like that. So this is obviously a remote that's over 10 years old. Um, probably produced well before that as well and the only actual use I had for it was with those particular TVs I actually bought it to switch on uh, AVI play playback so basically the, uh, the PS 3000s didn't actually have an option to use the USB stick to play back video um, so basically DivX files things like that whereas the PS 6000 which they were also selling at the time that did have that option enabled. And basically I read on some of the forums that you could literally just go into the settings and enable it yourself. So basically I bought this particular remote for that purpose. I used it once on each TV and then I just packed it away. Um, I managed to dig it out this, this weekend. So I figured I'll, I'll give it a shot. So in order to do this, you literally just hit the instart button on the remote. It will then bring up this kind of password uh, and then you can enter in your pin and then it pulls up the service menu. Um, and basically what we're looking at is this bottom bottom one just here, so uh, UTT. That is the one that actually lists uh, how many hours this particular set's actually been in use. So as you can see from that, 887, which translated roughly, um, considering I've literally just passed the week 21 burning test. So 21 weeks by 887 roughly works out to um, I think it's just over six hours per day, assuming this is a seven day week. So basically what I did was I divided that by 21 and then divided that by seven. That gives you your hours per day. Um, obviously there it won't be exactly that. So it won't have been even across the 21 weeks. There would have been days when we didn't use it at all. There would have been days when we've used it quite a lot um, and basically other days when it would have only had a few hours use it. Now, whilst we're in this uh, screen, what we can also do is if I just pull down on these menus, I'm not going to actually change anything on this because I don't actually know enough about this just yet. And as with all of these kind of things, you want to do your research. Normally, I'd actually suggest that you don't do any changes in any of these menus because basically you could really damage your TV firmware wise. So I'd suggest obviously don't ever try and change anything in this unless you really know what you're doing. Um, ha having said that, there is a couple of more things that I just wanted to have a look at. So the one just below there, so the uh, OLED compensation count, and it's got uh, OFRS, and oh, sorry, OFRS, so OFFRS, and then JB. So as you can see, the count for that is 167 slash one. And basically what that is, is that's your um, pixel refresh, essentially. So what that, what, what that means is your JB, is your and you could see that up in this side as well so jb compensation interval that 2000 there is basically the the target hours for when it'll actually run a pixel refresher so that's the major pixel refresher the one that um you'll get prompted about and it will tell you look i'm gonna do this the next time you switch the tv off and the one above that so off dash rs compensation interval this one here as you can see there is set to four hours so effectively what that means is after every four hours of continuous use, when you then switch your TV off, it will then run a mini pixel refresher. And as you can see from just down here, it's running 167 times throughout the period I've I've owned it. Now, obviously I didn't come into this straight away, so I don't know whether the, the panel itself had any, any hours listing on it before I got it. It was a brand new TV, but obviously possibly if, if they didn't reset it from factory, then it could have been showing some some potentially before that but essentially what it what it's saying is you've run the mini one 167 times so 
essentially you know that at least 167 int uh, periods I've actually used this for four hours or more and then the one I actually ran that myself um, I believe it was either the first week or the second week and I ran it literally just to let me just pull that back up again it's timed out I ran it just to get um, an idea of whether um, I think right at the start I may have had a little bit of vertical banding and I ran it just at the time to see whether it cleared any any of that up or anything and also I was just curious as to what what happens whether it does it um, with screen on like the old ones used to so with the plasmas it used to basically just cycle through you had two options you had the checker checker box pattern that it would play on the TV and then you had the white uh, screen that it would also flash through as well um, if, if I've got some time what I'll try and do is I'll make a video on that on those plasmas and I'll show you it, it the problem with that particular TV is because of the refresh rate um, it doesn't show up very well on camera because it, you basically get a lot of uh, vertical kind of banding going on um, horizontal banding sorry that actually goes down down the the screen and it looks like it's got all sorts of weird effects going on you can't actually see any of that in real life but on camera it does show up so for that reason it's, it's kind of difficult to actually um, make any videos of that particular TV but I'll try and I'll try and make a video for that but yeah essentially on this one it was literally I was only I, I, I didn't really come into here uh, for anything else other than obviously I've, I posted the video this weekend about the OLED protection and steps that you can take and somebody mentioned that obviously you need to want actually go in and make sure this is enabled presumably for most people unless somebody's actually made a change all of this will be set by default to, to have these particular settings and if you are unsure whether your mini pixel refresher is actually working or not once you have used your C9 for more than four hours when you switch it off you get a little red LED come up here and it makes a little click sound what will happen is whenever your pixel refresher is actually running it'll then make a second click around about five to, six, five to ten minutes something like that it, 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 it's not exactly five minutes but that's just a rough rough kind of um, figure that I've I've got where roughly about five minutes after you've switched the TV off, you'll then hear a second click and that's when the TV's actually shut off. So with these TVs, the pixel refresh actually happens with the screen off. So you don't actually notice anything happening. So as soon as you press the power button on your remote, essentially it looks like from the little red dot there, your screen goes black and it just looks like the TV's off. Everything else would switch off. So if you've got um, soundbar, PlayStation, uh, Apple TV, anything else connected, it'll switch all of those off exactly as it would normally. Um, but essentially what it'll also do is it'll be running in the background and then once it's finished running, it'll then do a second click when it's actually switching off. That's the reason why I've actually said to a few people in the comments that don't turn the TV off from the plug. So make sure whenever you when you're using one of these OLED panels, just leave it plugged in overnight and just let it do whatever it needs to do in the background whenever it feels it needs to do that. So yeah, that, that was literally just it. So for anybody curious about this, um, in order to get into this particular menu, um, you can use phone apps and things like that as well. Um, you need an older phone with an IO blaster. Um, some people have stated possibly um, Samsung S5 or older. Some of those ones used to have uh, IO blaster and some of the, I think the Huawei phones still had the IO blaster as well but essentially you just need to go into the the in start menu and then obviously you'll need to enter a pin I'm not going to tell you what the pin is because you you can do that research online I don't want to be responsible for anybody going and breaking their TVs by changing stuff in that particular menu I'm not going to be changing anything unless I'm I've got evidence that whatever that change is um, does not do any damage to the panel but essentially um, I'm not as I say I'm not I'm not an expert on these kind of things so I'm not going to go messing around in those menus when I don't know what I'm doing and I recommend everybody else also not do that the whole point of me doing this was literally just to check how many hours are on the panel because that way I can give people in my next um, burning test so the one coming up next Friday which will be week 22 um, what I may also do is just show on screen how many hours and then there, thereafter going forward just so show how many hours are actually on the panel so it gives people a better idea because obviously time if the panel isn't used it doesn't really show anything it doesn't really give you any type of um, context in terms of basically it could be a brand new panel and I could be saying 22 22 weeks so what I may do is just list the the date the, um, purchase date for this particular TV was around I believe it was 14th Fe February something like that so obviously people can work that kind of thing out themselves but th it just gives an extra little bit of context to it as well in terms of yeah that's that's basically 
how many hours are already on the panel and this is the kind of performance I've got out of it and obviously um, so far so good in terms of zero burning or any anything like that so yeah the, the video has gone on a little bit longer than um, I originally attended intended it to do so but hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into into um, some of the things that are actually happening in the background without you needing to actually do anything and without you having to uh, really think too much about it so until the next one thank you very much for watching